Let's begin. Dear Diary, love can lead us places far and wide, whether it be spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or physically. I'm sure that it takes us exactly where we're supposed to be, even if it doesn't make sense or seem right initially. I refrain from asking what it all means because it knows not where it goes, just as the time passes right by us. I simply trust that love leads me to the right people, the right places, and the right times. I trust that I'll get the lessons I need as well as the ones I seek out. Last of all, I hope that I'm imparting the right wisdom to those who surround me, in turn creating a grand cosmic ripple on them. This ripple effect begins with me and extends onto the viewer or listener of the love carousel. Thanks for having me. So, uh, yeah, my name is Calvin McGriffin, a.k.a. artist named Calvin Leron. I'm from Oklahoma, Okmulgee to be exact. Uh, it's about 40 miles south from Tulsa. And, uh, I'm 23 years old, and I hope you guys enjoy my music tonight.
Yeah. I'm a man on a mission. Ain't nothing gonna stand in my way. I'm a man on a mission. I'm a man on a mission. Man on a mission, man on a mission, man on a mission. My grind constant info. My name you will surely know. Cause I've got plans. Gonna do whatever I can. Up all night, jotting down lyrics. Know that I'm serious. And I'm pushing with all my might. Man on a mission. Man on a mission. Dang right, my man on a mission. Dang right, my man on a mission. My grind constant info. My name, you will surely know. Cause I've got plans. Gonna do whatever I can. Up all night, jotting down lyrics. I know that I'm serious. And I'm pushing with all my might. It's been a long road, but still, here I stand. I'm not finished yet. Gonna be someone you won't forget. Every little breath, every little step. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Man on a mission. Man on a mission, you think right on my man on a mission, you think right on my man on a mission. I gotta keep on trucking, 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 keep on trucking, keep on trucking. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Man on a mission. Man on a mission. You dang right on my man on a mission. Dang right on my man on a mission. Man on a mission. Man on a mission. On a mission, you dang right on my man on a mission. You dang right on my man on a mission. Thank you. That's what I want to give to you. Broken a couple of times, and I've been through many lies. Love had in mind. Why would you even try? You're a beautiful queen. Should be treated that way. I want to give you a love from back in the day. That's what I want to give to you. Right the wrongs that make you question why was something so hard to find love your flaws please don't change a thing give me a chance to help you see you're a beautiful queen should be treated that way. I want to give you a love.
from back in the day. That's what I want to give to you. Honor, respect, and chivalry is what you deserve if you ask me. That's what I want to give to you. what I want to give to you old-fashioned love oh yeah that's what I want to give to you you're a beautiful queen should be treated that way. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, if you'd like to take a seat, I have a few questions for you. <laughs> uh, so, fortunately, the we're going back to the first song, which I can totally vibe to, but I don't know if everybody can hear me. Now they can. Um, I love the music. Thank you. Unfortunately, it had to be cut short since we had some issues with the track. So I'm yeah. hoping uh, we can uh, show our viewers where to find it. Maybe Instagram, okay. YouTube. Okay. Yeah. So Thanks. I was actually just making sure I had the right links for you. Mm -hmm. So it's Calvin Laron. That's C A L. C A L V I N L O R O N. All right. Yeah. That's um, my Instagram. You can also find my website, calvinloron.com, which is C-A-L-V-I-N-L-O-R-O-N.com. Yeah. All right, calvinloron.com. That yeah. actually has a ring to it. Thanks. That's great. <laughs> so um, you also, uh, I know, I don't know if it's the handle. I'm not very tech savvy, but you go by Old Fashioned Love? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so where did that come from? Uh, <laughs> I guess, like, um, I've always heard a lot of music in, I know there's like a lot of good music out there that shows love and things, but I, I really love like uh, old school music like Motown and, you know, the 90s R&B, New Edition, that kind of stuff. Like uh, new stuff like Bruno Mars, like he kind of oh, has like that vibe too. So yeah. like, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm going to make a song that's called like, you know, old fashioned love, you know, because that's kind of like my style, my vibe. Yeah. So like, you know, so I got like a, a good friend of mine, Matt Maxwell. Mm -hmm. Like uh, in Tulsa, he's a bassist, and like uh, we like wrote up the song, and uh, we took it to the studio, and he had uh, like um, a lot of uh, musician friends, and Stephen Atwell, the uh, studio owner, we mm -hmm. um, put everything together, and yeah, it was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it sounded really great. And um, also, like there's a second version of Old Fashioned Love that I created about a year ago with a producer in Oklahoma City, Genius yeah. Picasso. Right. Like, uh, I'm gonna give him a little shout out. Oh yeah, no, I, I like the name drop. Yeah, so um, you know who Genius to look for. Picasso. You can find him uh, <laughs> on, on Instagram at G E N I U S P I C A S O, and you can also find Matt Maxwell. Um, I believe it's M A T M A X W E L L uh, dot com. That's his website, and I also think the Matt Maxwell is uh, his Instagram name. I'm not for sure, but yeah. like I just I had to see drop that real quick. And yeah. oh, sorry, but also AMR Studio. Um, and Tulsa is AMR Studios, I believe. Like, you can type that in Instagram or online. And yeah. Like, he, he, like, um, puts together projects and things like that for musicians and yeah. things like that. So I had to give a little shout-out, you know? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you need to recognize the people who yeah. who led you here. Um, you, you are our first guest who isn't local. You're from... You said it before. And I'm I from <laughs> Okmulgee, Oklahoma. It's O-K-M-U-L-G-E-E. -E. Most Oklahoma. people haven't heard of it outside of Oklahoma. 
Maybe <laughs> even some people in Oklahoma have never heard of, I don't know. <laughs> but um, one thing is the capital of the Muscogee Creek Nation, so I guess that kind of makes it more noticeable, but yeah, I, I guess some people <laughs> know it, but I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I come from a town like that where it's like, it's important in its own way, but not everybody knows about it. Um, that's 40 miles south of Tulsa, you said. Yeah. Um, I still have never really passed through Oklahoma. <laughs> um, I'll be sure to now, and then I'll, I'll uh, call you when I'm in Oklahoma so <laughs> I could see one of your shows. You have a lot of shows over there um, in Oklahoma? Not like right now, but I'm actually working on it. Okay. I'm, I'm actually trying to get back into the studio with uh, the AM, AMR. AMR studio and <laughs> so I can like put together like you know a little set list a little something a little longer you know yeah like uh what band members like get the the music and things like that to so, get more professional I guess and yeah I'm gonna try like to book a lot more gigs and but I have done stuff in the past but nothing like really big yet but the largest thing I've done is like um Muskogee Creek Nation had like this uh arts and festival yeah. mu music uh festival something right. like that about last year in May so it was yeah. quite a few people there so yeah but I'm going to do more of that kind of stuff oh yeah yeah you once want I to keep on expanding yeah. from what you've got I get that and um what inspires your song I don't know if that's repetitive as to you know where you got old-fashioned love but is there anything that really inspires your song like is it words first then the music or you uh, know, does it all come to you at once I would say words first like, right. well, I always, well, I'll have the melody first and I'll like hum the melody into my phone or like uh, my home studio or whatever. Yeah. And then um, I guess it's like a little bit of both because I'll like be singing like a random acapella or something. Like yeah. I'll get it and I'll like be humming it, singing the lyrics that I come yeah. up with randomly and, and like the melody, I'll be like, dun, 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 like <laughs> do stuff like that so I won't forget it. And yeah. So it's kind of like a little bit of both, but yeah. mainly the lyrics because I like to write out all of the lyrics before I start the music because right. like it feels like the process is a lot quicker once you already have like all the verses and choruses and things right, like that. Right, yeah. it gives it a little bit more of a yeah the structure. Um, is there any like places or things or like you know any certain muses you have or it just kind of hmm. hits you out of nowhere? Uh, this is kind of weird but I know it's like when I watch like mu uh, music biopics yeah. like things like that like a you know, like the Temptations thing, like, man, like yeah. when I see that stuff, it just really inspires me because yeah. like, wow, I, I just really, I really love those days like where they're like going into the Motown or whatnot, the New Edition movie, I saw that one like two years ago. I love those, those kind of like uh, movies or whatever. I don't know if I saw that one. Yeah, but I, that gives me a lot of inspiration. Also, like uh, listening to live music or, you know, albums, like right. old albums, like I was mentioning earlier, I like a lot of old music. Yeah. And, do you do, you do yeah. like the vinyls and stuff like that? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm thinking about. I'll think about doing something like that. Yeah, yeah. They have yeah. a few of those like in Tulsa, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people here in Austin tend to, to get vinyls because it just doesn't sound the same. Yeah. You know, that's how it was meant to sound. I, I believe that for the most part. I um, yeah. I was gonna ask. You know what what inspires you? Just because you know people come to me, they'll be like, you know what. Sometimes a certain smell inspires know, me. I'm right. like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> like it can be but, like the most random thing, you know. Yeah. You can just be driving or I don't know, walking. Like yeah. it just like it just comes to you, you know. And yeah. You got to write it down. Like I always try to keep my phone or some kind of like notepad, but yeah. mainly the phone because like the notepad <laughs> you can't record into that. But yeah. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> no, that's what I usually do. Like it, it can come out of nowhere. So oh, I got to get this down and mm -hmm. yeah. I've done that before. Well. I don't really write music, but you know, I, I try to like pick up certain instruments. And sometimes I'm in my car, I hear a song on the radio. I'm there fumbling through my backpack, getting the notebook out and writing it down. <laughs> um, haven't caused any crashes, <laughs> so don't look at me like that. <laughs> um, another question I had was, um, what uh, d do you have a lot more ready to go, or is it slowly? forming or is there uh, like a lot in the vault or is um, it just coming slowly but sure it's actually quite a bit like yeah a, i have a lot of lyrics wrote down i just man i need to learn how to play an instrument so i can actually write down <laughs> chords and things like that so i'm working on learning the acoustic okay but yeah i have a lot of stuff and like uh matt maxwell we usually like will um link up and he'll like write the music for me and get his like uh friends like his band mates whatever right stuff like that and they'll like write the whole tune for me 
yeah stuff like that like that's, it really comes in handy and yeah. also um like a genius picasso um like he's like a producer like i was already said that already but yeah. <laughs> like he'll like make the beats and stuff like that yeah. i like to like mix it up like the new age like you know the beats electronic stuff and also you know like the guitars and the keyboards things like i like to mix it up where i'm like catering to the old and yeah. the young you know yeah stuff like that yeah yeah and luckily i think those two songs that you got to perform show a little bit of that when i uh when we were doing sound check i was walking by and like you know writing things down and i was able to do the running man and then for the next song i was <laughs> able to just kind of like groove with it yeah i try so to make it like two different varieties like you know change it up <laughs> up tempo slow you know so yeah yeah, yeah. You, you definitely need that and as far as um what do you call it uh albums are you going to be um, introducing any anytime soon yeah. or is it kind of like way out on the horizon um i'm not really sure at the moment but i do have an ep out oh right now um it's like uh two songs i recorded last year is a uh, man on a mission that i performed today the the older vo version of old-fashioned love and the new version like uh the the old temple kind of like the old-fashioned kind of sounding right one, like with the guitars and all that kind of stuff so you can like people can find that on all streaming platforms oh yeah just type in calvin loron c-a-l-v-i-n l-o-r-o-n and you'll find me pretty much mm -hmm. everywhere and also calvinloron.com everything calvin is there like com. merchandise and Ooh, all that kind of stuff I'm yeah start looking at keep that. up with me what i'm doing and yeah things like that. yeah yeah definitely and i just followed you on instagram i'm surprised it took me this Thanks. long <laughs> but you know it just kind of occurred to me i was like maybe i should have some way to like you know see what else he's doing maybe yeah. he'll come back uh how often are you in texas uh pretty like for this past year I've, this is probably like my fourth or fifth time yeah. here <laughs> yeah because i also um like do a little bit of like uh i'm an amateur actor like i just signed like um with an agency a few months ago like oh, uh, wow. like to do modeling and acting and all that so i've been coming here a lot more often okay and also i've been here a lot for you know music like this to pull form at random events thrown by uh mm -hmm. people like uh uh i don't know what the word i'm looking for but the people that like throw events for music yeah yeah <laughs> can't think of the word but those people, yeah. music people yeah <laughs> um well that's great promoters um, yeah that's good. promoters <laughs> yeah i, yeah, I but, can't remember the name to save my life um again not a musician uh i just kind of introduce music musicians hang out with them not a musician myself <laughs> it's only as a hobby um so you said you want to learn acoustic um yeah. any other instruments you, uh, did you ever pick up instruments as a kid and then it was for you or i actually did like i used to play the trumpet like in <laughs> sixth through eighth grade mm -hmm. but i didn't play in high school so i really liked it but mm -hmm. i just I didn't go for go for it with it mm -hmm. in high school, but so I've been thinking about you know pulling it out the closet, whatever, and playing it again because yeah. like I wasn't bad or anything. I wasn't great, but <laughs> like get a few little lessons, maybe yeah. it might be decent. Maybe yeah, maybe you can introduce that into the music. And somehow. like it, yeah, and it actually helped like if, if I actually like learn instruments because I feel like some of the greatest ever, you know, they played instruments too. So I feel right. like I'm a little too lazy on that part. I need mm. to. <laughs> learn an instrument yeah i mean i mean to each their own i don't think you have to necessarily learn an instrument but yeah. it's also a nice surprise when you just like bust out like a <laughs> yeah. lizzo with a flute you know like <laughs> <laughs> yeah you i've could, seen it you could do that well maybe not the same routine because that's already been done once but yeah you know you could do that with a recorder remember recorders from like oh yeah <laughs> i used to have like one of those uh in elementary <laughs> primary yeah. school we used to have to like bring a recorder <laughs> The school like a music class and play yeah. those. I sucked. <laughs> it was fun for like two minutes until everybody got too loud. I, <laughs> that's when I knew I was a solo artist, and maybe that's the same for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, we still got a few minutes, so I could wrap it up nicely. So it's Calvin Laron. Yes. On Instagram, Calvin Laron on YouTube, CalvinLaron.com. Um, VP, does that have a title? Um, it's called Man on a Mission, actually. Man on a Mission. Okay. I just like to kind of tie it all up neatly with a bow. Um, very important question. Did you stop by Bucky's? Bucky's? Oh, no. You don't know what Bucky's is? Uh, I, no. 
if you <laughs> see a Bucky's on your way out, you gotta stop by Bucky's. Tell me all about it. DM me all about Bucky's. Okay. I need you to I need to see if it's not just a, a Texas thing that we blew out of proportion. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I don't know if there's any more questions. I mean. I, I feel like I've gotten to know you in these few minutes. We've just met today, All right. and <laughs> I I look forward to like seeing a lot from you. Um, anybody else you'd like to shout out, or anybody um, else you'd like to oh recognize? Yeah. Maybe certain people in the crowd yeah, um, who who've helped you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like just like to um, shout out like my parents and families and friends. And some of like the fans I have, you know, for supporting me, you know, yeah, like it, it really goes a long way because like it, it gives you that motivation to keep going. Yeah, uh, I want to uh, shout out like uh, the producers, everyone that's been helping me, you know, like make these songs and all that because I can't make them, so <laughs> I can write the lyrics. Yeah, so, yeah, um, it's, yeah, it's and, a collaborative effort. Um, yeah, that's what I was. And I, I guess I'll just recycle and do what I did earlier, like to shout out uh, Matt Maxwell, Stephen Atwell, James Picasso, and um. Yeah, like, thanks, guys, for, you know, helping me write these songs and <laughs> things like that. I don't know if they're watching right now, but, yeah. <laughs> so, <Better> yeah. Be. <laughs> <laughs> That's really great. Um, I'm just glad we actually have time to, like, go over this because the band I had last week, I was able to get their names, and that was about it. We had to cut everything yeah. short. And uh, I guess maybe we'll see you soon for the other two songs or even more songs. Yeah, sure. I, I would hope so. I would love to come back. Yeah, oh, right. Uh, <laughs> I'm, gl I'm glad to hear that. I have, <laughs> I have somebody telling me to wrap it up now. So in that case, I would just like to congratulate you. I don't know if mom wants to come on and just say hello or <laughs> not really. <laughs> no, okay. Um, I'd just like to thank you so much for thank coming you. all the way over here. Thanks for having uh, me. You know, and dealing with the technical difficulties we had at first. Um, oh, that's all good. I want to thank everybody in the crew. I always like to do that, you know, just because. Yeah, they did a great job. <laughs> it's a collaborative <laughs> effort. You know, we were kind of running around, scrambling, figuring out what we were to do next. But again, thank you so much. I look forward to hearing more from you. Thanks for having me. And, um, you know, seeing you at the Grammys. <laughs> Maybe one day, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> uh, I'll be there rooting for you. Just remember me when you've made it Thank big. Thank you. <laughs> I will, I will. I'm going to remember everyone because, man, <laughs> I'm telling you, like, all, like, support and all that, it goes a long way for yes. artists, whatever, because, man, sometimes you might want to give up, but once you know there's people there, you know, backing you, you know, like, you really appreciate stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we so appreciate So I appreciate you guys for having me on here. We appreciate you all, and... Have a good night, everybody. <laughs> we had to pull some of that out of thin air. Sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was like expecting like.